This video demonstrates how you can use the NetFlow data in Sentinel to investigate a UDP flood attack. This video assumes you have a basic understanding of Sentinel from an analyst perspective. Let us look at a scenario. Andy, the security analyst, is responsible for monitoring and identifying potential security incidents in the organization. Andy receives a ticket from the help desk stating that the employees are not able to access the company's business website for the last three hours. The help desk team has done some preliminary investigation and based on the network performance, they suspect a possible denial of service attack. The help desk asks Andy to look at the affected web server 10.0.0.6 to see if anything unusual shows up. Andy wants to view the activities on that web server and also monitor the network flow to see why it is slow. Andy goes to the Sentinel web interface. He clicks Real-Time Views and clicks the plus sign to create a new NetFlow view. He specifies the IP address of the web server he wants to monitor. He leaves tenant as default because he wants to view the NetFlow data of all the tenants selects last six hours as the time range and clicks save. Based on the graphs, Andy sees that indeed there is a spike in inbound traffic around the time the problem was reported. Since the graphs refresh automatically in real-time views, he clicks view snapshot to analyze the spike in network traffic for that specific time. He notices that the incoming bytes have drastically increased between 9.42 and 10 a.m. Similarly, there is a spike in incoming packets and incoming flows as well. Andy then monitors the traffic flowing out of this web server. Looking at the data flowing out of this IP address, nothing immediately looks out of the ordinary. He checks the top ports that are sending data. They are all TCP communications. The largest communication out of this IP is TCP, which is normal for a web server. He switches over to look at the incoming traffic and selects the top ports receiving data from this web server. He observes that the table no longer shows TCP, but in fact shows that the top eight ports receiving data are UDP. He checks the hosts that are sending data. Looking at the percentage of outgoing traffic, he sees that the top three hosts stand out from the rest and notices that these hosts are sending the larger percent of data to the web server. Andy understands that this does not seem to look like a regular denial of service attack but is probably a distributed denial of service attack from these three IP addresses. Andy wants to compare the changes in incoming data before and after the specific time he noticed the spike in the network traffic. He clicks View Compare and edits the time range to maximize the comparison range before and after the spike, which was around 10 a.m. He notices that these three unusual IP addresses have been sending a large data after 9.56 and were not present before the spike. The incoming traffic from one of these IP addresses has increased significantly over 49%. In fact, these three IP addresses top the list of IP addresses sending data to this web server. He checks the ports that are sending data. He notices that Around 95% of the traffic sent to the web server is coming from this UDP port 2100 and this port was not present before the spike in incoming traffic. With all this information, Andy concludes that there is a distributed denial of service attack using UDP which means there is a UDP flood attack on the web server. Andy escalates the issue to his network administrator. He suggests to add a firewall rule to block traffic to and from the malicious IP addresses and the UDP port 2100. In Sentinel, Andy does the following tasks to automatically detect this issue in the future. He adds a correlation rule to alert on any traffic to or from those malicious IP addresses to ensure that the firewall rule is in place. 
he adds the compromised web server to the exploited machine's dynamic list. The exploited machine's dynamic list is built into several correlation rules and subjects machines like 10.0.0.6 to additional monitoring. This concludes the video. Thank you for watching. For more information about analyzing NetFlow data in Sentinel, see the Sentinel documentation.